Welcome to this week in Gilenor, episode 15, and this week we got the Pride event, and we also would have gotten Force 3 Beta if Jagex didn't burn that one to the ground. Anyway, since it's Pride event, we came up with a bingo, the Snowflake bingo, and you're just in time for our new contestant. So, contestant, please, take stage. Now, just as an aside here, I actually didn't... Uh, show their names because I don't want them to get arrested, but uh, their name is kind of ironic given the situation. Anyway, this contestant is ready to play and try to get a bingo on our game. So let's see how they start. Like I say, I have gay friends IRL. A very strong start, step in the right direction. I have insert minority friend IRL because we all know that if you are friends with someone, it's completely fine to be hateful towards their identities. But, can our contestant give another good performance? And they aren't into this type of pride events. Ooh, a very strong follow-up to our first quote, the I'm not like other girls, the gay version. Very good, but if our contestant really wants to win, they need to step it up a notch. Why am I being hounded for not agreeing with the principle of a political event on a game? LMAO? Ooh, and our contestant tried to go for the triple here! Exactly! Not only did our contestant do the phenomenal job of activating both the there's only two genders, male and political, and the I don't like politics in my video games, I grew up playing Call of Duty, but also complained about being silenced! But is that enough? Can our contestant actually bring home the prize? It's looking rough, but maybe our contestant can actually do it. It'd be the same if a Joe Biden holiday event. Oh, there we have it! The obligatory mention to the current USA president! Even though the rest of the world doesn't live in America, nor do we give a shit, but there we have it! Unfortunately for our contestant, that wasn't quite enough to uh, make a bingo. They came close many times, and with a little bit of more of a uh, practice, they would definitely get it. But uh, yes, uh, give it up for our contestant for uh, participating in the game. Now, just as a side note, uh, this bingo card is actually in the description if you want to download it as a uh, JPEG or PNG, whatever. Uh, so uh, yeah, have fun with your friends during Pride Month, or literally during anything else. This works for multiple games, not just RuneScape, so uh, I'll, I did take most of this from RuneScape pages like Facebook and stuff like that, but it works for anything, so uh, have fun. Anyway, for the rest of us that actually don't lose our minds because Jagex made a fucking event with cosmetics to celebrate love and acceptance, uh, they introduced with this event three new cosmetics. Number one is a crossbow that when you shoot it at people, it sparkles uh, hearts. The number two thing that they introduced is the poet's jacket, which is some really good and fancy fashion scape, and by far the most important, the jumpers. Yes, they included the fancy jumper. I mean, it's not called a fancy jumper, but when you put it alongside the fancy boots, yeah, that's some fashion scape. And that's it for this. Oh, wait, no, I almost forgot. So, apparently, the Baroque uh, air shop just vanished. J -j just, just vanished. Like, there's no sign of it. It just it got lost, I guess. We still don't have any information on it, but I'll be sure to keep you updated as soon as we do.